I think that's right. I mean, particularly in the beginning of a clinical development program when there are more unknowns than there are knowns about safety. Now, certainly, um, many times by the time we get to phase two, we've done a phase one trial, but maybe not in the, in the patient, in the population of, of people who will be enrolling in, in, the, in the trial, in this case, people with ALS. Um, and so we have to be really thoughtful about how we have those conversations at, at the time of consent, particularly when we're putting people into a program that can you know, hopefully go on for quite some time. Um, you know, having said that, I think people, my experience is that people, when you go through that consent process, really are very good at weighing those things and, and you know, balancing their hope with their understanding of what the real benefits and risks are. And in the case of CNMA-8, what we found is that actually it's a very safe, you know, it's been a very safe medication in the trials that we've done without significant safety or tolerability um, problems. And you know we're excited to see that there there may be this benefit in survival, and you know again excited to to kind of look at what our next steps may be for for really understanding that survival benefit in a definitive way.